In this lesson, we will take care of the final endpoint we haven't covered yet. It is a private editor endpoint to update a travel. So update the travel could be handled by editors and by admins as well. So we have travel controller for admin already with the store method. The only thing left to do is to add update method. And then we'll take care of the routes and middleware. So public function update, same travel request because the same validation rules apply. And then all we need to do is, or in fact, we need travel, of course, record, what are we updating? So travel, travel with route model binding. And then we update that record with travel update, eloquent function with request validated. And then we return that travel thing, travel object. Actually, we can copy paste it from here the same identical code line, which would return the updated travel object. That's it. So this lesson will be even shorter probably than the previous lesson. We don't need a new controller, but we do need a new route. So here in the admin, we need to have travels update. So route put, because it's an update method, not store. So travels, we are putting travel record like this, and the method is update. But the problem is, or the situation is that this should be accessed by editor, not by role admin only. And I will show you two ways how to handle it. At first, I thought to do a route group within route group. So for example, we can leave auth sanctum here on top. And then in here, we could have route middleware role admin, and then group of routes specifically for admin. So function like this and then this is admin route and this is admin route and then another route group would be role editor like this so let me just cut and paste here something like this with role editor so admins would access this one and editors would access this one but in our situation both admin and editor can access this endpoint and since in our application we don't have any other roles at the moment we have only admin and editor we can kind of use a shortcut and remove that so basically any logged in user would be able to update the travel if we add more roles in the future i guess the solution would be to have something like admin comma editor and then in the middleware, parse that comma separated list into array and then check multiple roles who can access the endpoint. But for now, this should work. Let's try it out. So we launch that put request, logged in with the user with authorization with access token. And if we send, we should get the updated record with exactly the name that we specified. Final thing in this lesson, automate a test. And for that, we do have already admin travel test file. We just need the method for testing the update endpoint. And I will just paste it from my notes as I usually do. We need to create the travel record. So we need to import the model. So we create a random travel. We log in with an editor acting as user here and we try to update. So put JSON. And in this case, the validation is fired because we didn't specify all the required fields. Otherwise, it should be status 200 with the name updated, asserted with JSON fragment. And we run PHP artisan test. Is it green? Yes, 19 tests. And our test suite is run within less than a second. And we have admin travel test, our new endpoint test. And that's it with the functionality of our application. This is our final version of test coverage. At least at the moment, you could potentially add more tests, but this is kind of bare minimum, I would suggest. In the final lessons, we will perform some cleanup of the code and also kind of package it all with the documentation.